Sunday Vision Altar in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to praise God and worship Him wherever we are as we keep seeking God for the visions we have for our lives, for our families, for our friends, for our clans, for all that we are. And um, just take time to invite one or two persons uh, as we get to worship God and praise His holy name. And also let's open our hearts ready to receive of the word in the mighty name of Jesus. Along there we're going to worship and pray and uh, feel free to pray wherever you are. Feel free to worship wherever you are. And uh, let's just join in one spirit and one accord as we get to worship Him. Amen.
feet to lay down at the feet of Jesus. This is the crown of pride. The crown of fear. The crown of anxiety. The crown of not realizing the purpose of God in your life. The crown for fear of failure, of the unknown, of, of the fear of tomorrow. What are those crowns that you have? What are those old garments that you have that you need to take off and lay at the feet of Jesus and he gives you and he clothes you with white garments, white as snow? What are you lay, what are you allowing yourself to let go of this evening that God will have his way in you? What is it you're going to lay down? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it a crown of holding someone captive in your heart? Is it a crown of unforgiveness? of bitterness, of anger, of rebellion, of rejection. Is it a crown of untold secrets, things that you, you, you feel to let go of your past? Is it a crown of addictions? God is telling us, let's lay them at his feet right now. Come on, so wherever you just lift up your voice and worship him with the word of prayer and telling him, Father, I lay down every crown, every crown, every bit of it. There are those you may not know, but come on, just lay them down at the feet of Jesus. And cry, holy, holy is the Lamb who was, who is, and who is to come. Seasons come and seasons go, he, for he remains the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, he is Christ, he is Lord of all. Come on, just lay those crowns at his feet. i mm-hmm. 
take over It's me and you now, God Me and you now, God And let's go And take over It's me and you now, God Me and you now, God And let's go Jesus take over, 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 oh, 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 take over, and take over, and let go, take over, Thank you.
one is he never fails. On his word he never fails. On his promises he never fails. Hallelujah. His word says seasons come and seasons go he remains the same. That he became sin for the sake of man. That we become the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. That he gave up his only son that may be redeemed and be called the sons of God. That the sin we have in us is an incorruptible sin. A sin chosen by God. A sin separated for his name. And that's why we have a reason to praise and to worship him. And to glorify his name because he is faithful. He's a faithful father. He's a faithful king. He's a greater him. We have all reasons to rely on him. To put our trust in him. And to tell him, Jesus, you know what? No matter what it is, here I am in your presence and I will worship. Because you are my best friend. You are my friend forever. You are my friend forever. Mantarebo 
Rekataya Mantoroboya, Rekasata Rabaya, Rekasataya Mantoroboya, for your own glory, O God, for your fame, O my God, that no one shall say, O God, that it was I that did it, O God, that no one shall say, O God, it was by our money, O God, by our ability, by our wisdom, O God, indeed today, O Lord, we cast our crowns, O God, we cast our crowns before you, we say you are God and there is no other, you are king and no and there is no other you are the one oh my god who is the author oh lord and finisher of our faith oh my god no one can do it but you no one can stand oh lord but you oh god for us oh lord oh my god no one oh my god has redeemed us oh lord but you oh god Shaka Tarabaya, Reko Sakataya Mantoraboya, Reko Sakataya Mantoreboya, Rekataya Mama Mama, Mako Lebro Shatarabaya, Reko Seketea, my God, my Father, overshadow, O oh Lord, overshadow every plan, oh my God, O oh Spirit of God, overshadow every plan of my place of rest, O oh Lord, O oh Spirit of God, overshadow every schedule, O oh God, every, every plan, oh my God, overshadow it. Oh my God, Father, that the impossible shall happen, oh my God, that the impossible shall be seen, oh Lord, overshadow our visions, overshadow our plans, oh my God, that all that you have commissioned, oh God, all that you have allowed, oh my God, shall come to pass, oh God, I ask for alignment, oh my God, alignment, oh my God, that God of all possibilities, the God who purges, oh my God, Rekataya, Mama, Mama, our good shepherd, oh Lord, our good shepherd, oh my God, purge, oh my God, purge, oh my God, that which is not, oh my God, for us, purge, oh my God, remove the redundant things, oh Lord, remove, oh my God, that which is not bearing fruit, oh God, Rekata, Mantoroboya, Rete, Kasha, Tarabaye, Rakataya, Mantole, Brosha, Karabaya, Rekataya, Mantoroboya, for you, O Lord, O God, a God of wonders, a God of all possibilities. There is nothing to hide for you. We look to you in this time. We look to you in this season, O oh my God, to continue lifting us up. Lift us up, O oh God. Lift us up, O oh my God. Show your compassion, O oh my God. Where we are heavy laden, O oh my God. Show your compassion, O oh God. Where we are slack, O oh Lord, O oh my God. Show your compassion, O oh my God. For your name's sake, O oh God. For your kindness towards all men, O oh Lord. Show your compassion, my Father. Ratakaya, Mama, Mama. Reseketeya, Mama, Mama. That no one is left behind, O oh God. That no one is left behind, O oh my God. Of that which you are releasing for us, O oh Lord. Rasakataya, Mama, Mama. Rekosotaya, Mama, Mama. Yantarabaye, Rosekelea. Ratakaya, Mama, Mama. Rekosala, Mandoroboya. Rekataya, Mama, Mama. Katarabaya, Rakata Lebrosha Katarabaya, Rekata Mama Mama, Yaka Lebrosha Katarabaya, Reko Seketerea, Rebo Bobo Koshaka Lama Dorobaya, Ria Takaya Mama, O Shakarabaya, Ria Tama Koseketerea, Riko Soko Tarabaya, Rama Mama Mama, Reko Seketea, Shata Mandoroboya, Riko Seketea, Shalama Toroboya, Reka Sakataya, we hold on to you, O God, we hold on to you, O God, Rama Mama Mama Kasha Tarabaya, Robo Bobo Kosakataya, for on and on our own we cannot do anything, on our own we are nothing, O Lord Father, we hold on to your grace, O Lord, we hold on to your grace, O Lord. Lord, Maka Tarabaya, Robo Bokoya, Mama, Roko Seketea. We arise, oh my God. We arise, oh my God, from our old selves, oh God. We arise, oh my God, from our conventions, oh my God, into your glory, oh God, into that which you call us to be, oh God. My God, my God. You take our feet, oh Lord, oh God, from the miry clays, oh God, and you set them upon the rock, oh Lord. We look to you, oh God. Shatakaya mama ma ya antorobo ya katarabaya the one who oh god who carries us the one 
watches over us, the one who will be with us, oh my God, up to long life, oh Lord. Rika sama mama mama, sakataya mama mama. May we never forget, oh Lord, to lift you up, oh my God. May we never forget to recognize you, oh God. May we never forget to lift you up, oh God, in every circumstance, oh God. Even this week, oh God, we lift you up, oh my God. We lift you up, oh my God. Mantaraba kosha katarabaya reko sekete ya mama mama roko ya mama mama ya taraba ya kasa kataya eche terebo ya may you search our hearts oh god may you search our lives oh god rata makorobo kosekete ya and remove oh my god father any obstacles oh lord oh my god from the lifting oh god any obstacles oh my god that are keeping us oh my god father for what you are from from where you want us to be oh god from achieving that which you have called us to be oh god rakaya mama we look to your word, oh God. We look to your word, oh my God. Your word that washes, oh God. Your word that washes, oh God. Your word that changes, oh God. Your word that transforms, oh God. Robo bobo kosha kataya, raka sana mano robo ya, reko sakata ya, shata karabaya, reko sokota ya, yanta makose ketere ya. My God, my Father, may you be the King, O oh Lord, O oh God, of our agendas, O oh God. May you be the King, O oh Lord, of our visions, O oh God. May you be the King of everything, O oh Lord. Reko sakata ya, for you are good, O oh Lord, for you. You are good and your mercies and you are forever, oh God. You are good, oh Lord, oh my God. You are our ever present help in time of trouble, oh God. You are a good father, oh God, who gives good things to your children, oh God. Oh God, Oh Lord, oh my God, Shekataya Mama Mama, Rakataya Mama, Roko Sokotaya, draw all men, oh God, draw all men unto you, even as we lift you up, oh my God, Father, draw, oh God, draw the prodigal, oh God, draw the one, oh God, Father, that may have been left behind, oh God, draw, oh my God, the one that may have been written off, oh my God, draw, oh my God, Father, the one that have, that have judged themselves harshly, oh God, draw them back to you, my God, draw them back to you, oh God, as we lift our families back to you, as we lift our visions back to you, as we lift our TV back to you, draw, oh God, draw men back to you, Rika Samandoroboya, Reko Sakataya, Reko Sekereboya, Rasa Kataya, Mama Mama, Yanta Namandorobo Kosekele Mondoroboya, Shakata Makoroboya, Rasa Namandoroboya, Reko Sakataya Mantoroboya, Shetekea Mantoleboya, we recognize, oh Lord, oh my God, a God who loves us, oh God, we recognize, oh Lord, oh my God, that your yoke is easy. Oh God, and your burden is light, oh my God. Rosa Takaya Mama, Mantorobo Koseketeya, Rosa Kataya Mantoroboya, Robo Bobo Koseketeya. We ask for the rest, oh Lord. We accept the rest, oh God. We accept the rest, oh Lord. We accept the rest, oh my God. We lay down our guts, we lay down our tools, we lay down our wisdom, oh God. We lay down our egos, we lay down our strategies. Oh, Shata Makosoroboya, Reka Salamantoroboya, Ya Karabaya, Yenta Lepro Shakataya, Rika Sakataya Mantoroboya, Reka Sakataya. My God, my God, if it was not for you, oh God, where would we be, oh God? If it was not for you, oh God, where would we be, oh God? Indeed, oh Lord, we bless you. God, we bless you, O oh God, who have not given us as prey to their teeth, O oh Lord. We bless you, O oh God, for our help, O oh God, is indeed in you, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh God. For we 
sought you, oh God, and you answer us, you, you answered us, oh God, and you delivered us, oh God, from all our troubles, oh God. Rika Sakataya, we magnify the Lord wherever you are, magnify the Lord, magnify the Lord for his goodness towards us, magnify the Lord for his kindness towards us. He has not punished us according to our transgressions, he has taken care of us, he has walked us this far in our visions, he has walked us this far in where he where he, is, he wants us to go. Let's magnify the Lord in our families. Let's magnify the Lord as a, as a congregation. If you are part of the congregation of my place of rest, wherever you are, magnify him, magnify him, exalt him above every other name, exalt him. For we have sought the Lord and He has answered us. We have sought the Lord and He has answered us and He has delivered us. He has He has blinded the eyes of our enemies. He has blinded the eyes of our enemies for His name's sake. For His name's sake, He has remembered us. He has remembered His covenant towards us. Shatarebo se karabaye rakata mantoroboya if there is a vision if there is a plan that you're still holding on to hand it over hand it over to the lord the lord wants to be the one to have dominion over your life over your thoughts over your plans hand them over hand them over hand those thoughts hand those plans back to him in the god of all possibilities the God of the harvest is the God of the harvest. So if he is not holding on to what you that which you have set your heart for, who is going to bring the harvest? But the Lord most high. Mando robo sheketerea. Riko soko tarabaye. Reka sakataya manto roboya. Shekata mando roboya. Reko sakataya mama mama mama. Reka sakarabaya. Reko seketea. For we cried out to the Lord. We cried out to the Lord. And he answered us. He answered us of all that we presented to him. Do not hold back. Do not hold back in your family. Do not hold back for your workplace. Do not hold back for your clan. Do not hold back for whatever you do in the ministry. Do not hold back. The God, the God that we know has called us to cast our nets wide. Indeed. Lord, indeed, Lord, we expand, oh God, we expand, oh my God, we remove, oh my God, the pegs, oh my God, Father, of limitation, oh my God, we say, Lord, oh my God, beyond what we can see, beyond what we can imagine, oh God, we remove the cuppings, oh God, in our minds, oh my God, we say, Lord, oh my God, lead, oh Lord, lead, oh my God, beyond what we can see, indeed, as you have said, no eye has seen, no ear has had, no, no mind has fathomed, oh God, that which you have presented and prepared for those who love you, oh God. Indeed, my Lord, blessed are they, O God, who trust in you. Blessed are they, O God, whose eyes are set on you, O God. Raka mama mama mama, robo kose keterea, reko sakataya mantoroboya, riko sokotaya mama mama. Indeed, O Lord, O God, we have been young and now we are old and we have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his seed begging for bread, O God. We thank you, O Lord, O God, the God of our preservation, O Lord. Rikata mandoroboya, reko sakala mantoroboya, reko seketeya, reko seketeya, raba baba baba ba, reko seketeya. For you are God, O Lord, our provider, O God. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, O my God. You make a roadway in a wilderness, O God. Reko sakataya. You make rivers, oh God, in the desert, oh my God. You breathe your breath, oh my God, over a valley of dry bones, oh my God. And the dry bones leave, and the dry bones arise as a great army, oh God. They move, oh my God. Rakaya, mama, mama, 
Shabaya, Reko Seketea. Yes, the dry bones shall can live. Yes, the dry bones shall live. Yes, the dry vision shall live. Yes, the dry bones shall arise. Robo Bobo Boko Shakarabaya, Reko Seketea.
Jesus, I will follow 
Standing here only because. 
above all we thank you for the great things that you've done the great things you're still doing and you yet to do and we thank you for every soul out there that is connected to this broadcast that you open their hearts and establish their souls in the word of life in the name of Jesus we pray and believe amen and just maybe uh, let's get ready with our offering maybe they can share the numbers online as you celebrate uh, the team that has kept the presence of God until the word time hallelujah amen glory to God for they have tarried in the presence of God praise the Lord Jesus hallelujah amen some of us didn't know that we will be online today but by the grace of God, we are here. And we don't take that for granted. Thank God for thank God for making all doors open. Hallelujah. For us to be in this place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So let's share the link. Share the link with your friends, with family members. Hallelujah. With your workmates. Hallelujah. Let's spread the gospel. Let's spread the gospel. says in the book of Job chapter 33 that while men are asleep when he says that God does not speak once not twice but thrice and while men are asleep he seals instructions in their ears glory to God so today morning I woke up with uh, with the instruction sealed in my ears or with the word sealed in my ears that you have overcome. Hallelujah. You have overcome. And the word victorious, victorious. So I kept on pondering in the morning. You know, it's one of those days where you wake up with a sound, a sound in your ears that you have overcome. First word you hear in the morning, before even you hear the birds, you hear people making noise and what is that you have overcome. So I kept on thinking through it, you know, and searching my spirit. What have I overcome? What have I overcome? Hallelujah. Praise Lord Jesus. Until I think a few minutes to, to the broadcast here, when I was inquiring of the Lord what I should speak. Hallelujah. Praise Lord Jesus. And then he began to talk to me 
about the battle axe, about the seven, the message of our Lord Jesus Christ to the seven churches. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. In the book of Revelations. Hallelujah. And in each line, in all the seven churches, there is what Jesus had against them. Hallelujah. He recognized their giftings and also he showed them that, but I have this against you. Hallelujah. Then he says, but he who overcomes. Hallelujah. And, and he blessed that. So he took me there saying, you have overcome. You know, it's that word that you are over an, an, an overcome. You are an overcomer. So, and I realize there are things God is raising us to overcome in different places where he sends us to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. And when it comes to overcoming things in different ministries, in different lives, hallelujah, in different places, it means there are principalities and authorities that are rising, hallelujah, in different places. Glory, because I wonder what of God says you have overcome, meaning you don't overcome something that is not risen. Hallelujah. So when he's talking to the church of Ephesus, he recognized their gifting, but he says, but I have this against you. Hallelujah. But he says, but he who overcomes, I have this. So when God began to open my mind to that, then I realized that God has served us the grace, the overcoming grace. Hallelujah. Praise Lord Jesus. Meaning, the grace to overcome things in our families, in our ministries, in our businesses, in our personal lives. Areas where the enemies are in, in is arising. Hallelujah. He says the grace to overcome. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. As, as I was meditating along the day, at a certain moment, I was so it's one of those days, it's very rare to find me in a low tone in terms of when you feel low in your spirit. It's, it's, it's very rare. It's very rare. It's very rare. But today, it, it was one of those days. I was like, okay, why is, why are you, why is my soul so downcast? Hallelujah. It's like my soul was so downcast. Hallelujah. And, and, and I began to search. Hallelujah. Then I remember the word. You have what? Overcome. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. And I understood that there are a lot of things. Hallelujah. Because along the weekend there, we were somewhere in Butaleja, glory to God, uh, town council, and we had conferences where we were meeting men of God. It was a whole revival on churches. Hallelujah. Giving churches direction and changing the image of the ministries and uh, great testimonies with the men of God there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And, and great and mighty things happening. Praise the Lord Jesus. So thank you for those who partnered with us in prayer. God did great and mighty things. Glory to God. Amen. So there is a lot of things that are happening in so many churches. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, and, and when I heard that word that you have overcome, I realized that God has given us the grace to overcome things that would throw ministries down. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. So when God said, go and teach about God's battle acts. Hallelujah. So tell your neighbor you are God's battle acts. And by you there is what God wants to accomplish. So the overcoming grace as we share in the word today is released. Hallelujah. Whatever lies before you, no matter how tough and how hard it is, grace to overcome is given. Hallelujah. So, when you talk to me about the things that you was against the seven churches, if you may allow me to read quickly, we'll start from the book of Revelation chapter um, chapter 2. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. From verse 7. So if we start from verse 1, the 
the Bible says, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, write these things, says he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. And you have preserved and have patience and have labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand. Yes. To him who overcomes, I will give to it from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. And then if you go to uh, still chapter 2, verse 11. Hallelujah. Glory to God. talks about the church of Smyrna. Hallelujah. The persecuted church. And to the angel of the church of Smyrna, if you start from verse 8, write, this thing says the first and the last who was dead and came to life. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. And verse 11 says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it continues to say it's the compromising church. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. Mm. Verse 12. And to the angel of the church of Pergamos, write this thing, says he who has a sharp two-edged sword. I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, and you hold fast to my name and did not deny Father, my, my faith, even in the days in which Atiphas was my faithful martyr, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balak, who told Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sunk, sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Thus you also have those who hold the doctrine of the Nicol Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent or else I will come to you quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the heathen manna to eat. I will give him a white stone. And on the stone, a new name written, which is which no one knows except him who receives it. And verse 18, the corrupt church. And to the angel of the church of Thyatira, write these things, says the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire and his feet like fine brass. I know your works, love, service faith and your patience and as for your works the last are more than the first nevertheless I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexually, sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols and I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality and she did not repent Indeed, I will cast her into a sickbed, and those who commit adultery with her 
into great tribulation. Unless they repent of their deeds, I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and the hearts. And I will give to each one of you according to your works. Now to you I say, and to the rest of Thyatira, as many as do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depth of Satan, as they say, I will put on you no other burden, but hold fast what you have till I come. And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. They shall be dashed to pieces like the potter's vessels, as I also have received from my father, and I will give him the, mo the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, in the morning when I woke up, I didn't know what really God was talking about. When he spoke to me in the morning, he says, you have overcome. Hallelujah. So as I pondered that, as I was drawing closer to this place, took me back to he took me back to, to the word his word to the seven churches hallelujah glory to God and told me you have overcome praise of Jesus hallelujah and if you go to a book of first John chapter 5 verse 14 it says for whatever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that has overcome the world our faith praise of Jesus and verse 5 says who is he who overcomes the world? But he who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Praise Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So, meaning, sometimes as a minister of the gospel, as a church, hallelujah, there are things that will begin to happen. Praise Lord Jesus. There are things that will begin to arise in your ministry. Hallelujah. Coming from all different angles. Especially if you are given to sound doctrine. There are things the devil will begin to do to try to water down the work of God in your ministry or in your family or in your business, in your career, in you trying to live a sound life. Praise the Jesus. But when you stay in the lane of faith, in the lane of truth, hallelujah, in the lane of sound doctrine, and not compromise the word of God. There is a reward that comes when he says you have overcome. Praise of Jesus. Are you with me? So when I woke up in the morning, he says you have overcome. And when he opened my eyes to this, I rejoiced and I thanked God. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. So you're listening to me. You've been dealing with stuff in your family. Battle after battle. Praise of Jesus. Situation after situation. Hear ye me. You have overcome. Hallelujah. You have overcome. Glory to God. Praise the Jesus. You have overcome the evil one. Hallelujah. All the things Christ was against for all the seven churches, he says you have overcome. You have overcome them. So you can look at all what Christ is against all the seven churches. Examine your life. Check your life with what is written, with what Christ is against. Hallelujah. If you will find that most of us, those have been the lines of our battles. Hallelujah. Those are the lines the enemy has been trying to use to pull us down. Praise of Jesus. But we stayed in the line of faith. We did not compromise on the word of God. We stayed in the truth. We preached the word. Glory to God. Praise of Jesus. And now, judgment has been given that you have overcome. Clap those hands for Jesus wherever you are. Hallelujah. So I needed to remind us this, to talk to us about this, so that by the time we go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20, when he says you are his battle axe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because if still you read the book of Revelation chapter 21, he says, and they that overcome, hallelujah, I will be their God, and they will be my sons, and I will be their God. Praise of Jesus. So God also identifies with the overcomers because he overcame first. Praise of Jesus. So every overcomer is a born of God, is a product of God. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. 
are you with me so let's go to the book of uh the book of uh jeremiah chapter 51 praise of jesus jeremiah 51 from verse 20 says hallelujah praise of jesus if anyone is there can read for me quickly hallelujah man tos kalebaya ria tove kila hados ikida man to liga efrasu makonde liga apekuzi en liga angrus endira man tovre iklaza eskupedile emenda vas kaloja tekira aduja ale kapedo osken telebradia to verse 20 says you are my battle axe and weapons of war for with you i will break the nation in pieces with you i will destroy the kingdoms with you i will break in pieces the horse and its rider with you i will break in pieces the chariot and its rider hallelujah with you also i will break in pieces man and woman with you i will break in pieces old and young with you i will break in pieces the young man and the maiden with you also i will break in pieces the shepherd and his flock with you i will break in pieces the farmer and his yoke of oxen and with you i will break in pieces governors and rulers and i will repay babylon and all the inhabitants of chaldea for all the evil they have done in zion in your sight says the lord hallelujah you know we are in a season glory to god as we are heading to the watchers prayer camp god is raising watchmen and he wants to deal with the systems of Babylon that are keeping the children of God. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. Holding the children of God from experiencing the things God has promised them. Just like the children of Israel when they were in Babylon. Hallelujah. Many of us, we are in Babylon, yes, prospered, but yet we are still slaves in Babylon. We are still in exile. We are still in exile from the promise of God. Hallelujah. Much as in Babylon, you have peace. Praise of Jesus. You have built houses. You have married. But a territory where you are is not a location that God promised you. It's not a promised land. But it is a place that God raised. Hallelujah. To punish, to remind his people about him. And that's the reason why he raises a Babylon. Hallelujah. Perhaps his people may remember him. So there are many of us. We are in Babylon. It's peaceful. Yes. Hallelujah. When he says, when you go to Babylon, pray for the peace of the city. Glory to God. That as a city prospers, that he may prosper. Hallelujah. Praise the Jesus. They married, they build houses, but they're in a wrong location. Praise the Jesus. And, and those are the things that God was talking to me about. And he said, it's time for me to restore my people to begin to function from the right place of their callings, from the right places of their ministries. Hallelujah. For those who have been uh, working or ministering or doing work and all that, that have been in Babylon, peaceful, hallelujah, there are still systems that are keeping them that they're not able to experience what it means to walk in the promise of God. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. And in Babylon is a location where people suffer delay. Praise of Jesus. Because when a prophecy came by Jeremiah the prophet, which Daniel said, I, Daniel, understood by the books of the prophet Jeremiah in the book of Daniel chapter 9 verse 2, that the years of uh, deliverance were passed. Hallelujah. They were supposed to have gotten out uh, after 70 years, but the time extended. But he said, I understood by the books that the time is past. And he began to repent. He began to pray. He began to fast. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. And when he did that, and then the Bible says, the angel came, Gabriel was captured, hallelujah. And there had to be a reinforcement of Michael to come to fight that Gabriel may come and deliver the good news. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. Because Gabriel, the angel that is to bring you good news, is not a warrior by himself, hallelujah. So he will not try to fight with the enemy. Because that is not his department. Glory to God. But that is Michael's department. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. So when he came out to deliver the message to Daniel, he said, I return that Grecia may come. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Jesus. So meaning there to be a change of government in the spiritual realm for the children of Israel to be released from Babylon. And many of us are like that. Praise the Jesus. We have prayed. We have received prophecies. Hallelujah. Dates have been given. Names have been given. Timelines have been given. But those timelines have passed. Those dates have passed. Those years have passed. Just like the days of the children of Israel. There are 70 years passed. Hallelujah. To some time, to some point, most of us began to question the voice of God. Saying, was it true? Was it not? But thanks be to God that there are scriptures that reveal that there is a time when the children of Israel suffer delay. Hallelujah. Because of a location where they were. A location where they were. Hallelujah. And that's why in the prayer camp, we are going to be understanding different gates of the spirit. Hallelujah. And prophecies that are spoken in those gates of the spirit. Hallelujah. Where watchers are supposed to watch after. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. So, for this course, has God given us a word in this season to be in the prayer mountain for those three days? If you have suffered delay, if you have a word of God, if you have a promise of God, you have prayed, you have fasted, and nothing is working, it is time to come together. When God is calling all the watchers together, praise of Jesus. And we are going to pray. Hallelujah. We are going to repent. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And there has to be a change in the atmosphere. Because the Prince of Persia is holding those who are supposed to come and deliver our answers. And we are suffering delay in waiting for our answers. Glory to God. Praise of Jesus. Now, you may not have a Prince of Persia because the Prince of Persia was for the children of Israel then. You may, you may have the Prince of, of the Baganda. You may have the Prince of the Itasons. You may have the, the Prince of the Acholi. The northerners, you may have the prince of the UK, whatever nation you are at, whatever location you are at, praise of Jesus, glory to God. Because there is a prophetic word that is spoken in every location, every territory you are, you are in, hallelujah. There is no territory in the spiritual realm that is not guarded. There is no land that is not guarded, hallelujah. And there, is, there are words that are spoken in every territory, praise of Jesus. So... It is important. Hallelujah. So it is important that we understand the essence when God, the essence of God's message and when he's calling us together. It is time to come together and cry out to this God. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. And the systems of Babylon will be shaken because this decree is, this decision is by the decree of the watchers. Until your Nebuchadnezzar has to dream a dream that troubles you. And they begin to reach out. Hallelujah. So this week has begun until the weekend. It is a week of decreeing and declaring things. And decisions have to be made. And Nebuchadnezzar have to be troubled. Have to get dreams that will trouble them. That they will wake up in a dream sweating. Hallelujah. Looking for you. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, when God is telling, talking to Jeremiah, and he says, with you, I will accomplish this. So, there is what God wants to accomplish through us. Praise of Jesus. But sometimes it's tough. It's not easy. But then we have to remember the things God has created us for. Because we can easily give up in trying to run to a place of comfort. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. But when you're a battle axe in the hand of God, you have to cut properly. There are times when the axe becomes hot because it has chopped so many trees. It has chopped so many demons and all that. Glory to God. Praise of Jesus. But one thing you must remember is that you're not in the hand of the enemy. You are in the hand of the Lord. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. So we have seen in the Bible, God raised different men to accomplish his purposes. For example, Cyrus. In the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse uh, 28, hallelujah, glory to God. So God also raises, even Isaiah chapter 45, verse 1, God raises Cyrus also as his battle axe, hallelujah, to conquer Babylon, praise of Jesus. As you make your comparisons with the book of Isaiah chapter 44 and 28, hallelujah, 
and Isaiah 45, verse 1. So he raised Zyra, I mean Cyrus as his battle axe to conquer Babylon. Hallelujah. Babylon was a kingdom. That's what he's telling Jeremiah here. So by the mouth of Jeremiah, when God is talking to Jeremiah, and I have given you power to uproot and to plant. Hallelujah. To build and to destroy. So by the mouth of Jeremiah, God spoke Babylon into being, raised in Nebuchadnezzar, who came to take the children of Israel away from Babylon, I mean from Israel, to take them captive to Babylon. Hallelujah. And by the same mouth of Jeremiah the prophet, God had to raise a weapon that destroys Babylon. Hallelujah. And that was Cyrus. So he spoke Cyrus. That's why he's saying, by you I will, you're my battle axe. By you I will destroy kingdoms. Praise the Jesus. So there are things that God raised you to speak into being that are now becoming a problem into your life. Are becoming a problem into your children. Becoming a problem into your workplace. Problem into your ministry. That God by you still is going to use you to tear those things down. To pull those things down. Hallelujah. There might be systems we have put into place that have become harmful to us. And God is saying now, this system has served its purpose. It has served its time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And now it is time to put it down. There might be decisions that we've made as families, as ministers, as businessmen and women that only worked for a particular season. And now God is returning to back, back to us and say, it's time to pull those systems down because they are becoming poisonous and harmful to you. Hallelujah. That you might be able to experience a new move of God back to the, his original plan. Hallelujah. It might be in your marriage. There might be decisions that worked for a season. And God is saying, you have to tear that decision apart, those systems apart, because he's restoring you back to his original plan of marriage and relationship. Hallelujah. There might be things that we came up with and saying by this we are happy and they have now become a pain. They have now become something the devil is using to destroy us. Glory to God. And God is saying I am raising you by you. I will what? Destroy kingdom. I will destroy nations. So what is that in your life that God is saying by you we will destroy? What is that in your family? What is that in your ministry? What is that in your workplace? What is that in your family? That God is saying, by you, I will destroy kingdoms. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. We were in Butaleja. And God made me to draw a battle line for the witches. I said, you men of God in Butaleja, if you've been quiet, I am here. It's not obvious that we come here to preach the gospel. Praise of Jesus. Where witchcraft has dominated you, dominated the churches, we draw a line. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. Within no minute, I told them, there are some of you who are witches. You are flying in the air, but you, you will remain as air. You will never return to be a human being. Hallelujah. And one dropped, pa on ground and walked into the stage. So the protocol did, didn't even see the guy come to the stage. He was drunk. That's what happened also when we were in uh, Iloha. One came from nowhere with witchcraft on the stage. Hallelujah. This time in Butaleja, the guy appeared. He came and he looked at me. I didn't touch him. God told me, no, just continue worshiping. As we were worshiping, we began to exalt the name of God. And I said, no, every idol worship, as we are worshiping our God, every idol worshiper is being broken. And the guy appeared looked at me with eyes red, confused, and walked out of the stage, walked out of the meeting. Hallelujah. So we are in those days, praise of Jesus, where the church must return to a place of authority and power. Glory to God. And I charge the people in Butaleja saying, there are things God wants to accomplish with you. Hallelujah. So I don't know about your family. There are certain things you have to get tired of. 
and accept being a weapon in God's hand. Sometimes we want to play cool, play smart. Hallelujah. But it's time to take your place as a believer and begin to change systems that favor us. Glory to God. Praise to Jesus. So I do not know what God is raising you for. And he says, you are my battle axe. You are my battle axe. And he's already given us the overcoming grace. So whatever is risen before us, you have already overcome before even it arises. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. So meaning, you in the hand of God will defeat systems of this world. If ever you want to defeat the systems of Babylon, the systems of this world, make sure that you're in the hand of God. Outside the hand of God, you are not a weapon. Praise of Jesus. Against the enemy. Instead, you are a weapon against God. And you know, you cannot win a battle with God. You can never defeat God. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. So in the hand of God, we are a weapon. But outside the hand of God, we are not. Praise of Jesus. So wherever you are, I want us to begin to look into these things. Praise of Jesus. Because you see, in the past, Babylon was God's hammer or instrument of judgment. Hallelujah. Like I was saying, there are decisions we've made. There are systems we have raised. Hallelujah. That served a particular purpose. Hallelujah. But a time has come when they are no longer uh, supporting. Oh, now they are outdated. Praise of Jesus. As Babylon was raised by God as his hammer or his instrument of judgment. Glory to God. As you go to Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 23. Praise of Jesus. When he says, now a new nation will play that role as Babylon becomes like the nation. Hallelujah. It defeated. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. So meaning, whenever God wants to pull the things that is raised down, that served a particular purpose, and have not walked in their right path, God raises another nation to play the same role. Hallelujah. And he begins to raise the same nation that Babylon defeated. To defeat Babylon. Glory to God. Why? Because... When God raised Nebuchadnezzar, there is a sin Nebuchadnezzar had. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. So if you begin to allow to be replaced by Nebuchadnezzar, it becomes a challenge. Hallelujah. Never allow to be replaced by Nebuchadnezzar. Praise of Jesus. Why? Why did God begin to judge Babylon. Why? Because the prince, the king of Babylon, he began to play with the vessels of the house of God. When you begin to see Babylon, which is the world, begin to play with the vessels of the house of God, then you know that God has judged Babylon. When you begin to see Babylon, the world begin to mock church the men of God, the vessels of the house of God, then you know Babylon has already been what? Judged. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. Because Nebuchadnezzar used the vessels of God's house for his house parties. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Functions. And his days were shortened. Now, we are talking about Babylon as general, the world. But let us come into the house of God. We have the vessels of the house of God. The cameras. The keyboard. The microphones. The men of God and the women of God. Hallelujah. And all of you who are serving. Whether in choir. Whether in, whether in ushering. Whether in media. Hallelujah. Whether in administration. All of us we are vessels of the house of God. Hallelujah. So, when we begin to use the vessels of the house of God for our house parties, functions, hallelujah, our days are shortened. This is how I know that the days of Babylon, the spirit of Babylon, is shortened. 
because they have begun mocking the vessels of the house of God. Hallelujah. Imagine people in a bar drinking and they are talking about men of God and women of God. That's how you know that a man's life has been shortened. Their days have been shortened. They will still be alive, but they will never fulfill their days on earth because like Nebuchadnezzar, his days were already shortened. Hallelujah. So some people, some of you, your days are shortened every day. Glory to God. Why? Because you don't discern this principle, the principles of the vessels of God's house. Hallelujah. Every time we abuse the vessel in God's house, our days are shortened either by hours or by a year or by weeks. Hallelujah. So you may not immediately realize that your days are shortened because you're still breathing. Glory to God. You're still eating your food normal. You can still talk to your friends. Hallelujah. You can still call them. Praise of Jesus. But yet the days are what? Are shortened. So the question is, even in this season, in this week, in this month of lifting, when God is dealing with all kinds of flesh, he's pulling down everything that has exalted itself. Every mountain. And when he says that, days will come in the book of Isaiah chapter 2, that the mountain of the Lord will be lifted. Now, understand that God will never lift anything that he has not perfected. Hallelujah. Because it will not speak his glory. It will not speak its righteousness. It will, it will not speak his faithfulness. It will not speak the truth. So whatever God is going to lift in this month, that is the thing that he has perfected. He is never going to lift a man that supports the systems of Babylon. He's never going to lift a Babylonian man, a Babylonian spirit. But he will lift that which he has tested sanctified, perfected for his glory. Praise of Jesus. Amen. So, in the book of Daniel chapter 5, verse 22, maybe up to 28. Hallelujah. Daniel calls that you have greatly been reduced from being big to small and you don't know why. Hallelujah. Sometimes, when you see people, they are once big people. Uh -huh. Let's just read Caesar. From verse 22. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Clap hands for Jesus for the developments in the house. Hallelujah. I was here trying to look in my analog here. Eh? Until the word says, lift, thy high, lift up thine eyes and behold... Now I'm beholding new things. Hallelujah. But you, his son, Belshazzar, have not humbled your heart, although you knew all this. Next. Glory to God. <laughs> and you have lifted yourself up against the Lord of heaven. They have brought the vessels of his house before you. And you and your lords, your wives, your concubines, have drunk wine from them. And you have praised the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, which do not see or hear or know. And the God who holds your breath in his hand and owns all your ways, you have not glorified. You see, this man's sin was what? He used the vessels of the house of God to praise his God, his gods. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a very big message in there that you need to ponder. Hallelujah. Praise the Jesus. If God allows, I may touch it. But he says that what? And verse 23. <coughs> 24. Then the finger, the fingers of the Lord, the hand were sent from him. And this writing was written. Mm -hmm. And this is the inscription that was written. Many, many, take care. Uh-huh, that word. Apathy. Uh-huh. This is the interpretation of each word. Many, God has numbered your kingdom and finished it. Hallelujah. 
taken, you have been weighed in the balances and found wanting. Paris, your kingdom has been divided and given to the menace and passions. Mm -hmm. You see that? So what was the issue? Meaning, this Nebuchadnezzar never humbled himself. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. And that's why you see, pride reduces a man to a place of shame. So if you're writing, write down. Pride reduces you to a place of shame. There is no man who has been elevated by God that became proud that still remains in that place of elevation. They have always been demoted. Hallelujah. There were people, they were once managers, but pride hit them. Now they are cleaners. They are eating grass. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. And those are one of the things that God is dealing with this month. When he's dealing with the flesh. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. Do you know it's pride for you not to honor the vessels God has blessed us with? Hallelujah. Any vessel God has blessed us with, if you don't honor it, it's pride. Hallelujah. Hmm? That's why you find people, they use the vessels of the house of God to drink while praising other gods, other idols, not God. It's possible. You may find people coming, especially, let me try to use choir, the type of praise and worship. They are saying, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We are praising God. And then you see people dancing. In their dancing, hallelujah, the congregation is dancing. They, 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 their dancing is not as unto the Lord. They are, they, are, they are doing what? Dancing unto other idols, unto other gods. Hallelujah. Praise the Jesus. Do you know there are people when they are dancing, they dance to be seen by their wife, by their husband, by their girlfriend. Hallelujah. By their boyfriend. Hallelujah. But not at us unto the Lord. Even those when they are praying. Now let me bring it to intercession. There are some intercessors. When it's time for prayer. They begin to speak in unknown tongues. Not as unto the Lord. But to be seen. Hallelujah. By other personalities. You know that is idol worship. You, you are using God's vessel. Not to praise God but to praise another person. Oh, you begin to say, laga daga, laga daga, laga daga. I say like, but because this guy can pray. <laughs> now when you have attention of people, hallelujah, you even lift one leg up. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. You'll be shocked. When you say prayer, people are not praying by their soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise to Jesus. So, it is possible. When you find in media, a guy is holding a camera to be seen. Not, not as unto the Lord. Praise of Jesus. But the question is, in whatever you're doing, do it as unto the Lord. The scripture teaches us that whatever you do, do it heartily. Do it as unto the Lord. Glory to God. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. So Babylon, in the hand of God, was a weapon against Jerusalem. But Babylon moved out of the hand of God. Praise of Jesus. And God raised another nation. So anything in the hand of God is a weapon. Your offering in the hand of God is a weapon. Your praises in the hand of God is a weapon. Your dances in the hand of God is a weapon. You yourself in the hand of God, you are what? A weapon. But when Jerusalem repented and Babylon disobeyed God, God turned against Babylon. Hallelujah. Many times there are things God raises to judge us. But the day you will repent is the day God will destroy Babylon. Because he made Babylon with the purpose of destroying Babylon. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. Meaning Babylon was created with a purpose to be judged, to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A weapon in God's hand. Praise of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. So are some people. There are men who are mighty today. But the day they begin to be disobedient to God, they cease to be a weapon in the hand of God. That's why you want to be obedient to God at all costs, every day, every hour, every minute, so that you remain as a weapon in his hand. Because when you begin to bring in disobedience, rebellion, you cease to be a weapon in the hand of God. You cease to be a battle axe in the hand of God. And the day you cease to be a battle axe in the hand of God is the day the devil will come for you. Is the day they will tear you apart. Is the day sickness that has been waiting since the days of Adam to put you down will put you down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's why it's important for you to know your purpose. Because in the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4, the Bible says, God has created everything with a purpose, even the wicked for the day for judgment. Hallelujah. But it's important to understand the person next to you. Do you know their purpose? What if they are the ones who are created for the day of judgment? Do you know the purpose? That's why it's important to know the purpose of someone, the purpose of God in someone, whether in a ministry, whether they are your friends. Because there are some of us, we are hanging out with people who are destined for the day of judgment. They are wicked. You will preach a gospel to them, they will not understand because they are destined for the day of judgment. They are classified in a class of wicked, wicked people who God has created for the day of judgment. And yet for you, your purpose is that you must preach the gospel. Hallelujah. But you are married to a wicked person who is created for the day of judgment. Hallelujah. And you are hanging out with them, wasting time with them, not knowing those people are destined for the day of judgment. That's why salvation has to be personal. Hallelujah. You, you're, you're, you're tagging yourself on a guy, a person who is destined for what? For judgment. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. So it's important that we know these things. You check with me Proverbs chapter 16 verse 20. Let's check what does it say. Hallelujah. So it's important to know what you are destined for. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What are you destined for? And what is the person you are close to destined for? Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. And it's worse if you're married to one who is destined for judgment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then such people will hinder the purpose of God in your life. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 16. So you pray that God will intervene. And how does God intervene? In delivering your purpose, making you to begin to walk in your purpose, is that he may call them home. Hallelujah. 16.20. Proverbs 16.20. Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is he who trusts in what? In the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, it is important to understand your journey with God and take heed of instructions. Lest you are caught in Babylon. Praise of Jesus. Because it's important to know. There are some people who are not given to a life of instructions. Because by nature, they are a rebellious seed. Like the Bible says, the sons of Eli were sons of Belial, meaning they were sons of the devil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you with me? So it's important to know someone's end. It's important to know your end. What is your end? Hallelujah. That's why you see, most people are busy wasting time with those who are rebelling from the gospel. Worshipping their idols with God's vessels like Nebuchadnezzar. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yet their end is what? Is judgment. Praise of Jesus. Glory to God. But when you waste time with them, you end up being judged with them. Praise of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
So it's important that we we know who we are and what we are purposed for. Glory to God. So we are going to pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray and ask God who has given us the grace to overcome. Hallelujah. Praise of Jesus. Begin to search deeper in your spirit. What are things God is anointing you to overcome? Or in which systems? The mindset. What decisions do you make? that worked for a season that now are out of season God is saying you are my battle axe by you I will destroy kingdoms there are kingdoms around us kingdoms of darkness kingdoms of men the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh, against flesh and blood Ephesians chapter 6 20. but against principalities authorities, powers of darkness. Those are all evil spirits that rule this world. That rule this world. That rule this world. And, the Bible, and God is saying, I want to overcome them and make this world a better place for my people. A better place for your children. It's time to travel in the spirit.
Ala conciliata, se le baran los que le macata la baba baba baba, le caparan los que le barani, se le baracata la baba, el emamento se feliga a cos que le baradia, so pele cameta la baba baba, time to overcome every influence of the enemy, like coparadia so feliga ya, that has taken the form of every challenge, every challenge in your household, in your life. We break its influence. We break its influence in the name of Jesus. We break the influence of every evil hand in your working in your house, like your ministry, your marriage, your business. Every influence of the kingdoms of darkness. We break their influence. We break their influence. In your workplace, we break their influence. So we break their influence. Systems of Babylon of your life. Seleka kapa katagayus. Ele makopele ataya. Sepre kele bado usianta. Ezaka tale baradia. Seke tele barade. Lame kataga ba 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 ba. Bezo pele bada gadosia. Some of you need to pray for your children. Leka ba 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 ba. The systems of Babylon. They are influence over their lives. Break them off now. In the name of Jesus, kele baradia zo, lika mante kezekete. Anything that has come by the system of Babylon that has influence over your children and not the presence of God having its influence over their life, we break that influence in the name of Jesus. Kele bada zo, that God begins to have influence in their dream life. God begins to have influence over their lives. The Holy Ghost begins to have influence over their life. Ba kele kapa kando sket, shome la bakataya. Lika makoska, lika makianos kelebaya. Sickness will no longer have influence over their life. Disease shall not have influence over their life. Parados keleba, se me kayan de lekoske. Ela badiato, ela gabiato ska. Sinken teleba, parados kalari. Se peleka anta, e kopelina noske. E zaka tagabari, e le mantos katagaba. E se pelega duta, e ro pelia kata. E skomianta, e la kabagadia. Makos kalari, e zaka tagaba. E le botas kere, masomenda lega, le komen. Oh, Shalababa. Oh, God will renew your strength. Oh, God will renew your strength. Makelebozia. Oh, God will renew every feeble. Oh, God strengthen every feeble and every weak hand. Basokobaya. That they will watch war. That they will watch war. Makabeloske. Esapianda kuladiato. Esale komenda. Makombre nila kaska. Esementa laboske. Basalababa. We break the doors of bronze. We break the blows of bronze. Ele kopianta skobe. Shalema konte leba. Elianta kos keriaba. Rapa katosia. Ale krona skebaya. Every influence of wickedness in this place. We break its influence. We break its influence. In the name of Jesus. Eskalade. E kopeliata. Eskomianta lebos. Lega pregida. Sumina koleba. Elambre zukatiga. Eskomile andiga sko. Eskaliba. Eskaliga. Eskaliga. Sopele karia askemena. Babre zukutu. Eskalania. Emakoskeba. Ali katalaba. Soli emakoskeba. Eskomianta lebrade. Rikumbaladiato. Eskele bababa. Rapa ika askeriato. Elia mandoske. Elia namaske. Eskelea takaba.
family be consecrated for the world. Be consecrated for the gospel. Family be consecrated in these last days. Karabaniya, Mankateleba, be set apart, be set apart this week, be set apart this week. Rabalinga, Mankateleba, Rania, to your watch tower, your watch tower, Karabaniya, Rabalinga, 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 Rabalinga. you 
will not break the chains of the feet of those who are bound in one place for years and years and the chains in those hands that have been bound from touching success finances
Start to prepare now. Don't wait for Friday. Begin to build your prayer life. Begin to prepare. Spiritually, physically, 